In this video, I'm going to show you the step-by-step -step process for beginners to start scanning for winning stocks to trade for free. The goal of this video is to teach you how to build your own watch list and find winning stocks. As always, if you enjoy step-by-step -step videos like this, make sure to drop a like and subscribe and ring that notification bell if you want to learn more from my channel in the future. Step number one is scanning for stocks to trade and my new favorite platform is marketchameleon.com. The screener is free and easy to use for beginners and they have a member section for those interested that has some really cool tools for investors. Again, the screener is 100% free to use so let's jump in and we're going to build a screener together to find profitable winning stocks that are outperforming the markets. And yes, I said stocks that are outperforming the markets and this is critical because most stocks move up or down with the market. We all know that. But today, we're going to find stocks that are actually outperforming the S&P 500 and thanks to the Market Chameleon screener, we can find these stocks quickly and easily. I want you to go to marketchameleon.com and then we're going to hover over the screeners and then we've got on the right for premium users all kinds of different options and on the left these are all free ones that we can use so we want to go ahead and click on the stocks and now this is going to bring up the different options that we can have and we start with the stock attributes. The first thing that I want you to change is market cap. We want to go ahead and make this over 1 billion. You could also make that bigger if you'd like, but this is a really good starting point. We've also got options for dividends, volatility, and the other thing I normally like to change is options listed. I like to have has options. This just gives me more different options, no pun intended, for how I can trade the stock. Now if we scroll down here, we can see we now have 2,930 stocks meeting our criteria and that's down from roughly 12,000 to start. And on the right hand side, you'll start to see some really cool things. We've got a moving average indicator and this tells us different strategies. We can hover over them, tells us what's going on. And we also have one day support and resistance, whether it's below support or above support. And these will start to fill in as we go forward. Our next step is I want you to click on this tab right here, price, volume, and technical. The first thing we're going to do is we're going to make this above $5 for our stock price. Next, we want to come on over here to our three month change. And I just want to have any positive, And this just means it's trading higher today than it was three months ago. After that, for average stock volume, we want to have that over 1 million. And then on the option volume, this is going to be a complete option for you. If you trade options, I really recommend you have it above 1,000. And that's really going to size our list down quite a bit. So we want to make these four changes to the price, volume, and technical tab. And you can see that we're now down to 320 stocks that meet our criteria. And if you wanted to bring that down even further, you can play with some different technical parts here. We could go with a moving average technical indicator. We could do anything that is bullish, bearish, uptrend, or downtrend. These are options that I commonly use, although today I'm going to leave these off. Another one I like is the 14-day RSI. I love that to be above 50. Next up, we're going to go over to our valuation and profit tab. And this is really like the fundamentals for the stock. And there's two things that we want to change. First, we want to change price free cash flow and we want to make that above 10. And this just means they've got enough money coming in to pay the bills and to grow the business. And this is really important, especially in our current market. And the other thing I want to have is I want to deal with profitable companies. So we need to have a net profit margin. Let's go ahead and make this above 5%. And now we can see we are down to 92 stocks that are meeting our criteria. So we're getting this narrowed down more and more with each step. And now we're going to click on leverage and growth. And I want you to change the quick ratio, which is how quick they can pay off short term debt. We're going to move that to above one. So we want a quick ratio above one. And then we want sustainable growth. And let's go ahead and change that to above 10%. And now you can see we have dropped our list down to 83 entries. And now let's go ahead and size this down a little bit more using our free options. So let's go over here to price, volume, and technical. And now let's change our technical indicator to be anything that is bullish. We click on that and we're going to change from 83 entries down to 21 entries. And now we've got a very nice tight list of 21 stocks that are doing very well in our current market. But now I want to take it one step further. So let me go ahead and change this back to any. And now I'm going to jump over here to the average daily stats and show you a couple of really cool things. 
Now the average daily stats, I believe, is a premium tab, but I wanna show you how we can really use this because it's really cool to make sure we're outperforming the current market. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna come over and we're gonna click on the average daily stats, and now for percent positive over the last 15 days, we're gonna set that against a benchmark of the SPY. So we just want it to be above the SPY. Standard deviation, ah, uh, that's not what I want. I want average return. We're gonna make that any positive, and the sharp ratio, we'll set that to any positive. And now we've taken our list down to 26 entries. Now to make this a little bit better, let's just go ahead and change this to above 0.2. And for a sharp ratio, I want that to be above 10. And now let's go ahead and set the same criteria over the last 30 days and see what that does and how many we get. So above 10, above 0.2, and then above 10 again here. There we go. And now we've taken our list down to nine entries. So very quickly, very easily, we've screened almost 12,000 stocks down to nine that are outperforming the market. And next, let's jump over into the charts and let's just take a look at NVIDIA, which is our top stock right here. Step two is to review the charts. We're now in TradingView looking at NVIDIA and our technical analysis can be really simple here. Is the stock in an uptrend? I mean, that's the easiest thing. We can look at it. Here's our 20-day moving average, our 50-day moving average, and we'd love to have what we call the railroad tracks where it is trending in an upward direction. We can see over one week, these guys are up 5.8%. Over one month, they're up quite a bit at 20.5%. And over two months, they're up 52%. So these guys have definitely been outperforming the market. Now, if you're looking for a simple time to buy during an upward trend, it can be whenever the stock comes back down and bounces off that 20-day moving average. So we're a little bit high. Or if you're into indicators and different things, right now we're looking at the J5, and we can see we've had 48 trades, 35 of those were winners, 13 were losers, and our ROI on this would be 57.8%, and this is another type of a strategy you can use. Same thing with my indicators down here. We love to buy whenever they go green on green. Picked up a buy signal right here, had a real nice move up. And if you do wanna try my indicators for free, I've got a link for that down below as well. But we always wanna check the charts to make sure that they're going up and we love nice steady upward trends. We don't like one shot wonders where they just shoot straight up. So this stock is definitely trending up exactly what we wanna see. Step three, how to trade the stock. This can be as simple as buying the stock, or if you trade options, you can consider a few different strategies, and this is where Market Chameleon really shines. We're now back at the Market Chameleon screener, and if you're looking for trading ideas on what to do with these stocks, then what we can do is come down to any of the different stocks. We'll go ahead and keep it with NVIDIA. You click on that, and boom, we've got a screen pops up. We've got all kinds of information that we can go over, but what I wanna look at right now is the trade ideas, and now it's given us the top three strategies based on the edge, which is something that Market Chameleon calculates for us, and what I like to look at is a combination of the edge, so this one's got a 20 20.8% edge and a 13.2% on the right and then the winning rate and I really like the winning rate so if I wanted more information on this is a bull put credit spread all I could do is come over here click on the report button and then I've got more information we've got the Nvidia stock behavior analysis we've got the payout diagram this breaks down the trade explains how a credit spread works and the option strategy analysis market price our theoretical value our theoretical win rate the probability of profit is 80 percent using historical stock return data and then our theoretical edge is 13 percent and we've got even more down here but this is where market chameleon really shines so i really encourage you to check out market chameleon you can use their free screeners and they've got more if you're interested as well the key to finding winning stocks is to have a great screener in place so we are only looking at the stocks that meet our criteria and the more stocks that we find that have the right criteria good looking charts and strong fundamentals, the higher our likelihood of success. Let me know if you enjoyed this video and my process for finding winning stocks that are outperforming the stock market. If you wanna learn more in depth about how I trade or to receive all of my trade alerts, join my Discord. If this video helped you out, please remember to drop a like and subscribe if you wanna see more content just like this. Thank you so much for watching and I'd love to see you back here on Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. Thanks again, see you soon.